Hello, I'm trying to reach a Mr. Wilson, please. This is he. Mr. Wilson, how are you today? I'm doing fine. Who is this? My name is uh, Williams. Oh, how may I help you? Well, listen, we've uh, been getting a few complaints, sir, about some things uh, on your property here. All right, well, who are you with? Uh, actually, I'm with the Homeowners Association. Wanted to reach out and give you a call today. Oh, well, how you doing? Pretty good. Listen, um, got a few things I kind of want to discuss with you here that seem to be uh, a problem that's taking place in the neighborhood there. Um, it's been brought to our attention down here at headquarters that you have um, a few things on your property that are, are not functioning that really shouldn't be on the property. Uh, you have two cars supposedly in your driveway that, that are not being used, been sitting there for quite some time. Well, one of them I'm currently working on. I'm almost. I should have it repaired. I'm just waiting on get wait, waiting to get a little extra money to get it taken care of. But the other car is just functioning. I just don't drive, but I have more than one car. Okay. Now you you also have a a a camper that seems to be uh, has been there for at least eight months now. That's that's sitting there. Is that correct as well? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm, I'm working on um, getting some storage for that, it, but it ain't really been there eight months. Just maybe around about six, seven. You're not eight months, not eight months. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking at our past records and, and stuff. It seems like there was a, a complaint before about the, you know, keeping the yard uh, pretty cut and all of that kind of stuff. And I'm just looking at past complaints that I have here. Now, the biggest one that I have that, that's concerning your property, sir, is uh, mm-hmm. supposedly in your backyard. Now, uh, there's a you, you have an old boat that's in your backyard. I don't see that boat bothering nobody. Well, well, I mean it's 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 kind of a sore eye for the people. I I think I think you guys backyards actually bump up against each other and you guys have a, a chain link fence between the two of you all. And I I think the boat is must be just a sore eye for the family that's behind you all. Well, you know, um I don't see myself getting rid of that boat. So I I I I got a cover on it. Everybody else got a boat. I don't see what the problem is. Well, okay. Here's here's what's actually happening, Mr. Wilson. What's going to take place is this. Now, we're, we're going to give you a 14-day uh, extension. 14 days. Uh, 14 days, actually, to, to move the car that is not functioning, the camper as well, and definitely the boat. We need, we're going to need those three <laughs> items. Look here, sir, sir, sir. I, I ain't got nowhere to move the boat. I just told you I was working on somewhere for storage. Do you know how much storage costs? Now the boat, now the camper, I, I, I get that taken care of. But the boat, the boat, the boat, my daddy gave me, and my daddy gave me that. that that's the only thing my daddy gave me before he died. Now, now I'm not moving that boat nowhere. The boat works just fine. If I take it down there to the water, it'll work. Sir, and I, I understand it wholeheartedly. You know, I'm basically I'm I'm just a messenger. I have I'm gonna have to get the non-functioning car. That's not working properly. I'm going to have to get that out within the two-week notice, as well as the camper, Ooh. and definitely the boat. Now, i got well, to get that out. It's got to be gone. I'll tell you what. I ain't moving thing. I'll tell you. Then, 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 now, what you going to do? What Sir, you do you're going to either move the boat, or I'm going to have somebody come over and haul all of these things away. Well, I'll tell you what. i got 13 reasons why you won't come over and touch that boat, and i got two more. What, two times? Two times. Sir, I'm not at liberty to give you the uh, the well, name you who's reporting. Call my phone, so you're at liberty to give me something, because I know that down the street had this boat in your eight months, and ain't nobody said a thing to him. So why the hell y'all me about how to boat in the backyard that my daddy gave me? Sir, the language is not necessary. I'm t- Sir, the bottom line is I want the camper out, I want the boat out, and I want the car that's not functioning moved within two what, weeks, or I'm towing it out. I tell you what, I give you a personal invitation to come over here with the boat, the camper, and the car. And I, I will beat your like that's what I'm going to beat you. Sir, uh, uh, wow. I'm going to allow one car to stay. I just want to make sure that you know that I've given you the statement over the phone, letting you know that what, what has taken place here. Uh, and the statement is well taken, but I ain't moving my daddy's boat. You're going to move your dad's stinking boat if... Let me, well, don't bring the law, but you bring somebody. 
Uh, sir, trust me. Trust me. If we come there, we're definitely going to be bringing authorities with us. Well, that in my mind will go to jail because I love my daddy. Ain't now one of you going to touch my daddy's boat. That's the only thing he left me. I got one more thing I need to say to you, sir, about this entire situation. Me. Excuse me? What the you got to say? All I have to say is this. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your brother. Hey, man. That's what your brother told me. He said, man, he be going Eddie with the homeowner association. He said, man, just call him and tell him he got to move all this stuff. He said, but most of all, tell him y'all going to haul off that boat. He said, he'll kill you behind that doggone boat. Yeah, man, that's my daddy's boat, but I love that boat, man. They, they know that. They know that. You know what button you push. I got one more question for you, though, baby. Tell me this. What is the baddest radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. I'm trying to reach a, um, uh, uh, Mr. Is this Mr. Yeah, this a This is Benjamin Dixon. Trevor is my son. He goes to school with your son, now. Yeah. He, uh, he went to a birthday party that your son had last weekend. Am I right? Yeah. Well, listen, I understand. You're right. Uh, listen, I have a problem with you, Mr. Because I understand that you all are, are Jamaican and from Jamaica. But listen, you guys serve the children curry goat. You don't serve kids curry goat. Everybody's child doesn't eat curry goat. Pete, what happened to what happened to ice cream and cake and punch and maybe even a pizza at a birthday party for kids? But curry goat? That's out of the oh, question. Oh, you oh you mean? I mean, I understand what you're talking about. Oh, you mean, oh, you mean, I mean, feed the kids them curry goat. I feed them anything. But what, what you're talking about, brethren? Say so what? What, what? What you're talking about? Oh, you mean, oh, you mean you have a problem with me? Oh, you have a problem with me? I got and a problem. Have... I got a problem with any parents who, who decides on their own that in, uh, somebody else's child, it's okay to feed them some curry goat. My child don't eat no goat. We eat chicken, we eat steak, we eat cow. We don't eat curry goat. Yo, him eat it at a birthday party, though. Eh? Him, him eat it at a birthday party. And why you, man? If you would have told me that give you some too. So, so rude boy, no call me with your, with your anger and a, 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 a go on and a, and a rumble for me, you know, brethren. Because you don't know who you deal with, you know. Okay, I need you to slow it down for me, man. I ain't understanding nothing you're saying. You can't, you can't tell me for slow it down. You call me, I don't go So you can't tell me for slow it down. On my phone, you're calling up. Look, man, all I'm saying is you, you, this, this is disrespectful to the child, to people's parents. You're going out on your own liberty deciding on what you're going to feed somebody. You got to feed them normal stuff. You can't do that. Kids, no. uh, at, at, at birthday parties here in the States, man, it's no. pizza, it's ice cream, it's cake, it's punch. That's no. it. Hot dogs, maybe, <laughs> but not no damn curry goat. Man, I'm here running the show, brethren. Don't tell me what to do, eh? I me run this. So y'all come tell me about, about, about disrespect. You disrespect me, I call my phone. I, I'm not disrespecting you by calling your phone. I want to know why it is you doing something like this. And I bet you these other parents don't know you've been serving go. Yo, kiss man. Who, who, who the you is? Eh? You, you want to meet me? I'm sure you who the loving father is. Eh? How come tell me no bull Oh you, want, oh, you, oh, you want to? Oh, 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 you, brethren? Who the hell is you? Eh? I don't know you from Adam, brethren. I come talk on my phone and call with it. Yo, yo, you, you, you know you know who the f*** can deal with? Eh, eh, eh. You know something, man, just bring it up now, you know? Oh, you, 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 you want to meet me somewhere? Is that what you want to do? Me meet you, me, me, brethren. Me meet you right now. You understand me? Me, me brethren. You don't know who you're dealing with, you know? You're going to make me hurt you, man. If I, if, if I come over there, you're going to make me hurt you. You hear me? Now, I mean this, man. Now, no. I, I, I call you because I'm a concerned parent about my child. Uh, 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 and, and then you got a nerve to, hit, to tell me you're the one that's in the wrong. Yo, man. Me not hell. Me not in the wrong, Bertrand. Me not in the wrong. You understand me? So don't come tell me. Be the big man, you know. Don't come tell me about me not in the wrong. You and the 
Uh, uh, Mr. I think that's the name. Yeah, this is this. Is, what's this in regard to? Uh, uh this by the uh, air conditioning unit. You did some work uh, for us over on uh, my house over off Street. Do you remember coming out there last week? Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah. Right, my uh, it was a lady there. My wife. She let you in to come. Uh, right, right. Is there, is there a problem? Is there a problem? The air's not cooling or what? No, 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 no. It's cooling. Everything. Matter of fact, I want to tell you uh, uh, that you did a you did a good job. But uh, I got a question for you now. When you was at the house and you was uh, working on the air conditioner out there in the backyard, did you did you happen to go on the side of my house and pull out and use the bathroom right there on the side? Did you go over there and, and you do number one on the side of my house? Say what? Did you? Uh, and went and used the bathroom on the side of the, hold, of the hold, house. Hold, 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 wait a minute. I did what now to what? I p right, you, 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 you p and you did number one over on the side of the house. Now, is is that something that you did? Say, man, look, uh, you, you got to understand something, man. All right, now, I, I apologize if that did happen, but you got to understand something. You know, we down south, man, and, you know, we talking 85, 90, 95 degree weather, man. I got to stay hydrated. I got to drink a lot of fluids. So, you know, with me being the age that I am, I have to drink a lot of fluids and attend to pass through. Uh, that, look, now, once once again, I said I apologize. I understand all that. But you know what? I can't accept no apology like that when I got a man that got on the side of my house and then oh, and Man, now, I'm apologizing to you. And you coming off on me like that? You, you done, you done in front, on the side of my house in front of my wife. I, now, look here, young man. Now, if your wife saw me, evidently, she need to see some type of, because you evidently ain't doing some, you know. Who the hell? Who you think you talking to? Why is your wife watching me anyway do my work? Why, is she that hard up that she got to look at the old man? Look, 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 all I know is I don't want no man at my house, in the house, side of the house, backyard, nothing. Well, you should have been there. Hey, I, look, man, let me tell you something, dog. Let me tell you something. I'm the only person at my house. You understand well, me? Evidently, you ain't right if she out there looking at me. Look here, son. I'm a professional, okay? I do my job, and I take my job with pride, okay? It's not being professional. If there's something that I did, that's that water running through me. All right? Okay, now, but you, you don't you don't at no other man's house. And you at my house, and my wife sitting there looking at you out the window. Now, I got a problem with that. Well, what you need to have a problem with is your wife looking at me if that's what I did. You know what? You need to be at home and give her something to look at other than looking at me. You don't tell me what I need to do about my wife. Now, you don't yeah, go man, to another you man. Your... Man, you know what? I'm about to lose it, all right? Now, I tell you, go, 
you well, you're gonna make you, you're gonna make you me lose because right, let me let me get my that guy let me get my book. That's all. Yeah, I you got you right here. You damn right, right and I'm gonna you, right you what? Right yeah, that's yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna show you what it is. You you don't at another man's house. You don't do that. And people, my wife looking out the window, and I bet you knew that them blinds was open. Young man, nah, you did, you did, you did me real upset with these accusations. All right, now look, you had, you had, what is the street? Nah, you are, you, you know where I'm at. You, there, I will show you what the is. I want you to bring your ass back over nah, here I'll on Phillips. I know exactly what you said. You that y'all stole on that, on that, on that go, go on that uh, gone street. I'm gonna come over there. And I got Who something the? for you, y'all. I got something for you. Now, Who you, you think? Made me disregard my professionalism, and I'm gonna come show you what being is about. Look, man, what you don't do is at another man's house, and that's what you did, and you know it ain't called for. Now, you could have held I that. I apologize, man. I had to go. I told you I drank a lot of fluids in this hot heat, man. So, what else do you want me to do? I want you to keep your fluid till you get to the service station down the street, but not in my backyard side of the house and my wife looking out the window. Man, f*** you and f*** what you talking about. If I did, I apologize. If you can't accept it, then the hell with it. Look at I, you. You're going to f*** me off and make me do something up in here. I'm telling you, you now. What you to do, man? I done told you. I done apologize to you, and I will come over there and kick your okay? No, you ain't. I, I take, you'll do what? Let me tell I'll you something. I'll kick your young Cause judging from the age of your wife, your wife is young, and I know you're young. You can't deal with no old school. I'll kick your young. You go. You go get your ass whooped today. You hear me? You no, go son. get. Let, no, let me no, tell you. you me. Street two. I'll come get your young. Let me tell you. So I got one more thing to say to you. Is you listening to me? Speak. Speak. Damn it. This is nephew Tommy. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your boy named. Hey, man. Man. Now you know what? I'm gonna get with his. He know I got heart palpitations. I don't need this type of in my life, man. He said, man, my boy be out there fixing air conditions and heaters all day. He said, man, let me tell you something. He said he'd be frustrated to begin with. He said, begin him a call. He, he said, know let me... it, man, because I got nine or ten more I still got to do today. <laughs> hey, man, you all right? Man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all right now, nephew. I'm all right now, nephew. <laughs> nephew Tommy, <laughs> you and that Steve Hall are some damn fools in the morning. I listen to y'all cats every the morning, man. I don't know how in the hell. I sit back riding laughing. And how y'all get people, and y'all done got me with the same <laughs> Oh, man. I enjoy y'all show, man. Y'all keep up the good God going work. I appreciate it, man. I got one more question to ask you, man. What is the baddest, I'm talking about the baddest radio show in the land? Well, you know, the Steve Harvey <laughs> Morning Show. Hello? Hey, I'm trying to speak to, uh, I'm trying to speak to Alan. Yeah, this is Alan. Who's this? Hey, Alan. Yo, this is Derek, man. Check this out, bro. Uh, you, you are Rachel's, uh, Rachel's husband, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's my baby. What's up? What's up, wrong? No, 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 no. This, this right here, man, is like, it, what I know this man, and it's, you know, it just seems like every single day, you know, while she's on her lunch break, uh -huh. it seems like, you know, you will call and, 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 uh, and then block up the whole hour of her lunch break, and actually, you know, just be real, man, I'm just trying to come correct with you, it just seemed like you just cut in on all the time that I have, that I have with her, well, you know what I'm saying? Well, whoa, 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 hold, hold up, homie, hold up, hold up, bro, wait, you, what the f*** are you doing at lunch with my lady, son? Like I say, you know, we just, we just spending time, you know, doing lunchtime, but it just seems so rude, you know, that but rude, rude, time, rude, you, you, okay, first of all, that's my lady, okay, I can call her whenever the f*** I feel like calling her. That's I pay for them phone bill. I bought that iPhone five. I could get the, call whatever please. All right. Secondly, you ain't got no business being with a married woman alone at lunch. This ain't no date. Y'all supposed to be at work. No, no, we are at work. We, co we like I say, we co-workers. You know, but it, it, it seems like half the whole time I'm sitting in front of her. You know, we supposed to be having lunch together, and, and she talking to you the whole time. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Okay, what, what, what's your name again, bro? My name's Derek. Derek, Derek, all right. Derek, you work at the same building now? Okay, you, you at work right now, huh? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm here at the job. I mean, y'all work in the same flow, because I'm finna come see you. You seems about to jump off way, way <laughs> different for you, <laughs> straight up. Okay, so, dog, let, let me ask you something, man. What is the big deal? I, I'm just trying to, okay, you act like you don't see her. You act like you don't see her when she get home, you know? So, so 
But why is it so important that you waste a whole hour of lunchtime holding her down? It ain't wasted. I ain't wasting my I'm talking to my lady. Okay, you understand that? Why don't you go out there and get And then you ain't got to worry about sitting up in front of my lady. That's my wife. I walk down the aisle with that. We got kids. We got a house. We take care of this She help me hold it down. And this you, you, you ain't You know, it's like you. It's who don't ever want to come in and do But they got I always want to come in and somebody else's wife and Why don't you do this? Take, take, take this advice and see what it works, how it works for you. Go to the club, church, library, grocery store, wherever the you find your at, and you get you a chick, you date her for a minute, you court her for a minute, you romance her for a minute. That's what real men do, you know what I'm saying? That's what I did. That's how I got my, my Rachel. That's, the, that's my heart. You trying to sit up there in front of lunch with her every day for the past year? <laughs> I tell you what, bro, it may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, but soon, Soon, you're going to see me. Me and you're going to have none of this phone conversation. This is going to be a face-to-face. Hey, me and you. Dude, dude. All, all of, hey, man. What? I ain't trying to come between y'all at all. No, all you're not saying, in that Okay, like I'm saying, I'm not trying to come between y'all. I'm just saying it's every day you call it, man. What do you want? That's my wife supposed to talk to every guy day. That's what a real do. You don't know about that because you, you ain't no real All you know about is trying to holler at some street. You don't know what it is to put in work like a real man do, to actually hold down a home, pay the bills, everything, the family, the kids, and fixing the yards and fences. and You don't know nothing about that. All you know about is being a roach. Wife can't even go to work without like you trying to step to her and don't make no god sense. But that's okay. Like I promise you, I'm going to be there. You're going to see me, and I'm going to see you. You know, I'll tell you what, this is how this gonna go. It may not be tonight, but it's definitely not gonna go past tomorrow. Between now and then, you gonna see me, and I'm gonna see you. And hey, I can hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, you what, what'd you what'd you say? Heard me? It's gonna. Uh, I will come see your by tomorrow, son. Me and you, Derek. That's your name, right, Derek? My, my name. My, my name is Derek. Yes. I'm a, you gonna always wanna be both smiley face in my wife's face. I'm gonna deal with Rachel when I see her. She can please believe that. Please believe that. Talk to her about her little friend at lunch and shit like that. How how get my number anyway? My so I got your number out of Rachel's phone, but that's besides the point. What the doing about my phone, my y'all ain't that cool. I don't think I, I ain't never heard of no Darius before today. And all of a sudden you calling me talking about you was at lunch every day with my wife and shit. you. No, dog. No, no, it's, no, it's a friendly lunch date, is what it is. Friendly, friendly. Friendly. I know, I know, I know about you. how you just do friendly. I know about all that. You ain't fooling me. I know like you who prey on married women all the time because they like you but that like i said it's gonna change I promise you okay dog here's, here's what you don't know what you don't know is is tommy tommy be pushing up on her more than me who the tommy tommy who the who the tommy tommy is always pushing up on her what? tommy the one you need to be worried about you have tommy who the who the tommy any Dog, 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 nephew Tommy, man, check this out. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your wife Rachel got me the prank phone call. You. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe y'all did this, <laughs> me, man. Oh, <laughs> man, I'm gonna come down and <laughs> you all right, man. Man, I am now. <laughs> I was in a, ooh, you don't know. I was going to burn that building down. You don't even know. <laughs> man, all right, Pete, Pete, Tommy, this, this is my prediction. Somebody going to f*** you up. For real. <laughs> Y'all, you just you play too f- much, man. Y'all trip it. Uh, hey, man, check it out. You got to tell me this, man. What is the baddest yeah. radio show in the land? Only the Steve Harvey Morning Show, man. Of course. Hello? Hello, who is this? Miss Glenda, who is this? This Benji, I'm I'm calling. Is is, is Miss Purvis there? Um, no, she's not here right now. But this is her daughter. Um, is there a problem? Uh, no. Nah, this 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 Benji. This Mama uh Mama Lois nephew. Who, who is this again? This Glenda. This you know, is um Mama Lois. Mama Lois, your auntie, ain't it? Correct. Mama Lois and Miss Purvis' sisters. 
Okay, I'm Benji. I'm 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 her nephew from the other side of the family. Uh, is is Miss Purvis? Is she? Is, is your mama making the, the 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 dressing? Yeah, she's making enough for about forty five people. Um, we actually, um, this was discussed about a month ago. Right, y'all on the y'all. We they had the um the conference call. Okay, now listen. What what the reason why they they got me to call? What's wrong? Uh, okay. They not gonna. They not gonna need her to do the um to do the dress. And why wouldn't they need her to do the dress? She been making it for ten years. We did. We just discussed this. So what do you mean? They they say that they got somebody down here that's gonna do the dress. Especially since y'all traveling, y'all ain't got to bring it, you know, uh, right. and be traveling with it. But they got somebody gonna do the dress. Okay. Well, first of all, who are you? You're you're Benji. What is your name? That was not my name, Benjamin. But they call me Benji. But 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 uh, uh like I say uh. I'm on the other side of the front. I ain't on y'all side. Okay, well, I'm still trying to figure out why are you calling me? Because she's been making the dressing for 10 years, like I said. And, I mean, it's been discussed, so I don't even know why, why you're calling me. I don't even know you. Uh, okay, well, what I'm trying to explain to you just right here is that they got some, y- y'all ain't got to worry with bringing the dressing. They got somebody going to bring, they got somebody <laughs> down here that's going to cook it, so... In other words, you know, if you can tell Miss Purvis, she ain't got to worry about the dressing this year. Oh, so you want me to tell my mama after she's been making dressing for ten years that y'all say you y'all ain't worried about it. she shouldn't have to make it this year because we driving there, we drive every year. So I'm not gonna do that to her. So I mean, I don't I don't even know who you are to be calling me anyway. Why isn't somebody calling me that I know regarding this? Okay, okay, you Glenda, right? I am Glenda. Uh, all right, listen. Let me say this because I I don't mind saying what what everybody thinking, but but most people don't want to say. Let me just say this right here. Really, what's going on is this right here. A lot of people in the family, you know, don't really don't don't really like Miss Purvis dress. <laughs> Benji Benjamin, who the f- are you supposed to be? Let me explain something to you. My mama gonna make this. Dressing, you gonna eat that, and we ain't bringing none home with us. So you can tell your family that I said that. Do you understand me? No, I, I, I mean, I, I, for first of all, you got to understand that I'm bringing news that that, that people done, done voted on, and this is what everybody want to do. Don't nobody. Well, well, why didn't they call? We had a meeting. My mom make the dressing. She been making it ten years. Ain't nobody been saying nothing. And guess what? When I'm up in the house, nobody better not be walking up and through there talking about my. Mama, either. And y'all go eat the Okay, but see right there. Why, why, if people don't like the dressing, Glenda, why is you want to make su- submit everybody to having to eat it if they don't like it? You don't eat That's all I know. I don't know you are calling me no Well, I don't know no Benjamin. Benji. Whoever the hell you are. I'm Mama Lois' nephew from the other side of the family. Exactly. I don't know you. Okay, and, and, and really, really, to, to bag all that, I don't really know you. But I'm, but but I'm, but I'm man enough. To, I'm man enough to call you and tell you what we gonna do and what we ain't gonna do. Well, I know my thing. I done said it once and I repeat it again. She gonna make that dressing. You gonna eat it and we gonna go on by our day. Okay, okay, right there. Listen, and I know this might be hard for you to understand. What you grew up with liking, everybody else might not like. You, you can say what you want to. I don't even remember your being in my way. So you might not like it because you ain't been around, but she making dressing. Now, first of all, when y'all get down here, it's going to already be some more dressing here. Okay, okay. And she going to make her dressing, and we going to see the down, and y'all going to eat And I'm not, and, and, and it's, it's not even going to be discussed no further than that. I said what I got to say because you're not going to hurt my mama's feelings. Okay, there ain't nobody trying. That's why I'm trying to tell you to tell her don't make it now so she don't even bring it down. We <laughs> We like it when we get there anyway. Hey, look, I'm finna say this here, because evidently you ain't really understanding what I'm saying to you. I'm going to say it as clear as I can say it. If y'all come down here with that dress, I promise you, we already got dressing made. We throwing that dressing in the trash so everybody can get the dressing that we made for them. Point blank. That's what we doing. Please, let me explain something to you. I'm going to be on dressing <laughs> patrol, and if I find out you... And threw my mama's dressing in the trash. It's gonna be some, and we are gonna set that off. I'm not playing with you. This was too funny to me. Uncle Carl and Tilma, we were out on this conference call. Ain't none of them bald enough to call us or tell us to bull. But now they gonna set your stupid up calling me. I don't even know your call. I guess they felt like you was the call, like you the baddest in the world. But Benji, Benjamin, I don't even know your rap. I'm telling you now, I'm not playing with you. I'm telling you, anybody hurt my mama's feelings, it's 
is gonna be some in that and I'm telling you all y'all gonna be y'all full of down now. But I'm coming y'all out one can I say something else to you? I wish you would. Can I tell you what else they were saying? What? They wanted me to tell you this, Glenda. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your cousin Sheila got me to prank phone call you. Tommy, <laughs> you what got to <laughs> You about to make me set it off. What? <laughs> I said, baby, this Thanksgiving was, it wasn't going to be no Thanksgiving, baby. Because I was going to have my brother's what? Binge <laughs> Y'all play too much. Call me. Thanksgiving was going to be canceled, baby. Okay, come on, I got to ask you, baby. One time. last question before I let you go. Okay. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Steve Harvey Morning Show. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to speak with uh, Mr. Andre. He's actually not here right now. Can I take a message for him? Yes, def- my name is Zach, and I'm calling from the uh, the Seasons Hotel, and I'm following up and trying to make sure we got you guys straight for uh, Thursday. We have you all scheduled on Thursday for our junior suite, and we have champagne that's already been ordered. And I just wanted to follow up and make sure if you guys wanted any other amenities in the room. We definitely have you guys scheduled for lunch at noon, and the couple spa treatment is at is at four. I'm following up. I'm kind of like your um, concierge, and I want to make sure that um, if you guys need anything, we can get you taken care of. Wait, 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 wait. You say your name is Zach from where? I'm Zach, ma'am, from the uh, from the. Seasons Hotel. I'm calling about you guys' um, reservation that you have here at the hotel on what do you on, guys? Uh, on what Thursday. Do you guys? What do you guys? I don't have a reservation there. So you said Andre has a reservation there on February 13th in a suite and lunch and a couple's massage. Who, who's the couple? I'm not. I don't know anything about this. I'm his wife. Um, I, can I? Can I? Okay, can wait, I? Can hold I? Can hold I? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Miss. Okay. I'm sorry. What's your name, ma'am? Destiny. Okay. Wait, Destiny, can okay, I, wait, 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 pause, pause, pause. So you're calling from the f- seasons because my husband, Andre, has a reservation for the evening, starting with, you're saying, like, lunch and a couple's massage, a couple's massage on the day before Val... <sighs> uh, um, Sorry, ma'am, can I... Okay, okay, hold on, ma'am. Can I, can I get you to hold on for a second? I can't believe this sh- I'm sorry. That wasn't even meant for you. Oh my god, I'm I'm gonna beat his. Can I get you to hold on for a second? Yeah, yeah. Oh my. Okay, god. I'll be right back. I, I, oh my god. I'll be right back. Okay, uh, Miss Destiny. Yes. Are, are you okay? I just don't even understand. Oh my god. <sighs> We're gonna cancel that room. Okay. We're canceling the lunch. We're canceling oh, oh, the couple's oh. spa treatment. All anything that is booked under his name, I would like to cancel it at this point in time. Sound okay, like, man, but I'm I not. I'm not. A, I'm not allowed to cancel. Only the person that has made the reservation can cancel. I just can't. I don't. <sighs> if you don't mind me, I don't normally get personal. How long have you guys been married, ma'am? We have been married for eleven years, and we have hmm. two children together so what is this this the day before valentine's is this jump off day or something like that oh my oh my god thank you for this call i can't even oh oh my god he told me he had to go out of town for work thursday morning he wouldn't be back to friday afternoon okay well let me ask you something let me, let me ask you something miss destiny he, he, i mean you're gonna see him on the 14th ain't you seriously are you are you kidding me right now? I mean, I was just trying to look at the Are the you kidding side. me right now? You're talking about my husband is bringing some tramp to the, f- se- the f- seasons. He must like her. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, and but like I said. Don't, don't ask me no stupid sh- like that about I'm, I'm going to see him on the 14th. Don't even ask me no dumb sh- like that. Y'all better hope y'all see him by the 14th and stuff. Y'all won't be looking for his ass because I'm about to get in that ass. For sure. Is he crazy? <gasps> oh, my God. Can I say something, Miss Destin, if you don't mind? Don't 
don't say nothing stupid, Zach, okay? I'm, because I'm, not, I'm, I'm really on the edge right now. Okay, I understand. I understand. I, I, I'm just playing, I guess, devil's advocate here. Don't number twos need love, too? Goodbye, Zach. Did she hang? She done hung the call back. Call back. What? Did you hang up on what me? What did you, did you right hang up, up on, on me? You. you damn right I hung up on you, you little unprofessional p- I can't believe it. You call here, get me on the phone, telling me some outrageous sh- about my husband, cheating on me, bringing some sh- to the four seasons and all this sh-. You know, I'm about to go whoop his ass. I want to come down there and whoop your ass. And you're going to turn around and ask me, like, don't, don't number two me out. You better hope I don't run into you, okay? If you see an angry black woman coming your way, know that it is me. I'm coming for your little <laughs> too. Don't ask me no stupid sh- like that. And my husband out here cheating on me. We got kids and sh- Okay, okay, let me ask you something. A- ain't your sister Latricia? Ain't that your sister? Wait, what you saying? That Let- my sister Let- coming down there with my husband? No, 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 I'm not saying that at all. But Latricia is going to be her too. Do you know my sister? Actually, who the f- is this? Who the f- are you? Uh, do Do you have to know who I am? Hell yes, because I want to make sure when I come down there to whoop your ass, I'm whooping the right person. Well, when you come down here, look for me. Look for Tommy, nephew Tommy, from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your sister, Latricia, got me to prank phone call you. <laughs> oh, you dirty mother. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm sitting here putting my boots on right. You're going to go and act a fool on something. Oh, I'm going to go get her, though. That was some, uh, you should feel my heart. It's pounded 100 miles a minute. I was I was fired up and ready to go. <laughs> Whoop somebody's ass. <laughs> uh, you know what, Tommy? <laughs> he was right. Somebody is going to you up. <laughs> and you know what? I bet you it's going to be a woman. You got to let me know what is the baddest, and I mean the baddest radio show in the land. The Steve Harvey Morning Show, and it's crazy <laughs> nephew Tommy. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Uh, well, I must have had a wrong number. Um, I'm ch- uh, My name is Marcus. I'm trying to find Bree. Is, is Bree available? Uh, nah, man. She, she's probably at work. Oh, okay. All right. Well, listen. I'm. I'm. Li- I live in. Um. I live on the 18th floor. Me and some of the guys on the 18th floor are throwing, throwing a party, uh, on the rooftop. So we're gonna invite Bria. I've never seen you before. I didn't know you. So you live in the building too? Yeah. 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 Man, I live in 19A with her. Yeah. That's my girl. What's up? Wait. When, when's the party? Ah. Uh, okay. The party's Friday night. All right. So yeah, well, like I said, we was we were reaching out, and um, you know, we wanted to invite. I'd never, you know, I've seen Bree coming in out of the building, and um, and uh, you know, the doorman told me that he thinks she lives on the 19th floor somewhere. So, um, so we're having a um, we're having a, a, a panty party on Friday night. What? A panty party? Yeah, yeah. On 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 the rooftop, we're having a, a panty party. You know, we got food and and drinks and all that kind of stuff. So, I, I was wanting to see if she wanted to come out. So so that that's what you do, Margaret. That's what y'all do on the 18th floor. Y'all just hit up folks and, and try to get dudes, girls come to a panty party. A panty party. Panty we party. have a party once, once every, you know, once every, once a quarter. We we throw a party. So yeah, you know, well, this, keep, the, keep, keep up this bullshit, bro. It's gonna be the last party you throw in. The f- is the matter with you calling me out? Hey, 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 Language, the language, bro. Hold on, hold on. First of all, I didn't know Bree lived with someone in 19A. I've never seen anybody other than Bree. Okay. Yeah, because I work I, my ass off, dog. Who are you, Marcus? Okay, so so okay, I, I'm, I'm Marcus, but let's just calm down. Like I said, all I'm trying to do is invite Bree to um, to, you know, to a party. Now well, Bree ain't coming to no f- panty party. What the, f- what the, f- what the f- matter with you? Okay, so let, let's let, let me ask you this, sir. I call for Bree. 
I don't know nothing. Yeah, about. and you got Gary. I don't know, what the well, I don't know, I don't know nothing about no Gary. Okay, so Bree will have to let me know that that she doesn't want to come to the party. But um, I'll, I, since I thought I had the right number for Bree, what I'll do is find out how to get in touch with Bree directly. Because once again, I didn't know I was getting in contact with a Gary. I thought I was getting in touch with Bree. Yeah, yeah, you ain't gonna be worth much to Bree, man. When I cut that off, who the are you to call me? That's my girl. That's my girl. Okay, so it's your girl, all right? But like I said, I didn't know she had a boyfriend or anything. But that doesn't stop me from asking Bree if she wants to come to the party. Yeah, well, she ain't single. She's not single. The only the only thing single in 19A is that single <laughs> That's the only thing that's single up in 19A. Okay, so let me ask you this, man. How long have you and Bree been together? Can I ask Don't you worry about what the f- I am with my girl. Who the f- yeah. are you? Hey, I think, I think Bree can make her own decision. Or if she want to come to the party, I'll just call her directly. I just got the wrong number mixed up. That's all it is. No, you got the right number, Marcus. You got the you got the right number and the wrong mother. Hey, dude. So are you trying to say Bree can't make up her mind on if she want to come to the party or not? Bree is all she can make up. She can make up her mind if she wants to. I think she has made it up, Marcus. I think she has. Well, how do you know that? I haven't even asked her to come to the panty party. Listen, I'm at work right now. Don't come in with this bull. I've been in that building for years. I've never heard of no panty party before. Are you going to ask her to come to the panty party, or do I need to ask? you, Marcus. My girl ain't coming to no damn panty party. All right. All right. I see what I got to do now. I got to go to the door, man, and get Bree's number, and I ask her to come, because you're not going to pass on the message that I want her to have. Let me, let me tell you something. You better not come to no door, man. You better not come to 19-8. That's my girl. Stay the away from her. So let me ask you this. Are you ashamed of, of Bree's panties? Do you not want her, do you not want us to see her in the, in, in, the, in her panties? I mean, what is it? Mother don't worry about me or my girl or her panties. You got me? Okay. All right, man. I'm at, I'm I at got work, you. mother lucky you caught me at work. I know you were at work and I, because somebody told me you were at work. You know who told me you were at work, Gary? Who the told you I was at work, mother no. Bree told me you were at work. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got mother. I, oh, what the? <laughs> hey, 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 Gary, 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 Gary. Listen to me. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your girl Brianna got me to prank phone call you. This is a prank. <laughs> 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 You, you all right, man? G, G, you all right? Man, I'm in the room closet right now. Cutting your ass out. Man, get your ass out the broom closet, man. You man, man, come on, bro. Why are you, why you doing me like that at work, man? I need this job. I got bills to pay. Oh, man, your girl got me to prank you, man. She said, you got to prank my boyfriend. All you got to do is say something about me, and he going to go straight crazy. Oh, my God. Get the f*** out of here. Come on, bro. <laughs> Why gotta... I love y'all so, man. Why y'all got to do me like that? And I got one more question, man. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? That's the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Come on, man. You know that. <laughs> Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach a uh, Carmen, please. This is she. Hi, Carmen. My name is Keith. Keith, I'm calling you from Keith's insurance group. Oh, hi. How are you? Good. You and your husband, uh, what is it, uh, Harvey? Harvey, is that right? Yes, yes, it's Harvey. Okay, you guys actually put applications and actually went in and got your physicals done for life insurance, right? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Is there any way I could possibly talk to both of you guys at the same time, you and Harvey? Is that possible? Um, well, sure. He, he's at work right now, um, but I can get him on the phone. Okay, it, it would be uh, it'd be kind of easy if I kind of explain everything to both of you guys at the same time, if, that, if that's okay. Okay, something wrong? Uh, no, nothing's wrong. I mean, I I think I need to just try to bring a few things to you guys' attention, but I think, you know, after that, it's pretty much you guys' uh, decision on what you do. But I just wanted to let you know a few things about, you know, the, the results and things of that nature, life insurance, the whole nine yards, okay? Uh, oh, okay. Well, hold on. Let me see if I can get him on the phone. Hello? Hey, babe. Hey, sweetheart. Um, look, I got the insurance people on the line. They want to try to get both of us on the phone uh, to talk to us about the insurance stuff. Oh, cool, uh, cool, I, cool, cool. Good, good. Hey, Harvey, how you doing? This is Keith. Keith from uh, Insurance Group. How are you? Hey, good. What's happening, Keith? Good, good. Listen, um, do you have a minute that we can actually use to 
kind of get some of this information out to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. I'm on a little break right now. I'm good. Okay, great. First of all, we've gotten all your, your lab results back, everything, and I, I kind of got a few questions for you guys that, uh, that I'm a little puzzled on. How, how long have you guys actually been married? Uh, about well, we've been together about three years. Yeah. Three years. Okay, now, prior to being married three years, how long did you guys know each other before you got married? Oh, what would you say, babe, about five and a half, five, six years? Yeah, about six years. Okay. You guys have been knowing each other pretty close to nine years now. Yeah. All together, yeah. yeah. Okay. Are you actually from the same hometown? Do you grew up in the same hometown? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we grew up. Uh, I mean, it's, I, I'm, I'm sorry, is this question, in, I mean, is this about the insurance or? Well, I mean, the there's a few things that? that's, that's actually uh, puzzling, Carmen, that we need to, this this, this is some news I, I actually didn't want to bring you guys, but I, I mean we have to, I have to actually give you this news. Looking at our records, looking at all the test results, and and let me be the first to tell you that we run these results over and over and over, trying to make right. sure we are completely a hundred and fifteen twenty percent right. Okay. What's the problem with the test? Well, looking at our test, guys, Harvey, uh, Carmen, it, it's indicating that you guys are related. And nine times out of ten, what? you are you guys are siblings. What? Hold on, man. What? Oh. Oh, what you, the? You, f are you serious? Ma'am, I'm, I'm actually. I'm serious. My wife, you know I, I, I would not. Right? This is not a. This is not a laughing matter. Not a joking matter. You know, I like I said, I did not want to call with this information. Well, but you did make the f call, man. Look, you need oh, to go back. I, I don't know what you need to. To go back and, and, and double check your records or something because oh, this, 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 we've been married three years. Three? Check with the lab, man. Can you check with the lab and like call us back I, and I, let us you, know they you made know a what, Harvey? I, and I and I and I knew those questions would come up, and we we went over it. We went over it and over it and over it. Uh, well, Y'all need to go over it again because oh, that, that don't make no well, damn sense. Hold, hold, hold on, baby. I got this. You make the call, and this got to be wrong. So what you need to do is make another call. And call the lab and call us back and let us know that you either f***ing or they made a mistake or something. You talking about me and my wife. Uh, and I understand it, Harvey. Harvey, let me ask you this. Is it possible, Hell. you know, and this is just a, a question. Yeah. Is it possible that your dad and maybe her mom maybe knew each other at some point? And what the f*** What the f*** you saying about my mom and dad? That, that, that's some straight d Look, you need to have, go back and do whatever the you need to do. But if I tell you what, you say some like that again, I tell you, my baby's going to be coming down that beach your for saying some like that. Yeah, hold, hold, hold on, baby, hold on, baby. Baby, baby, hold on, baby, I got this. Hold on, hold on, I got it, baby, I got it, baby. How the you going to call me with this? What the you from? I don't know where the you from, but people do like that. But that ain't all I'm doing, sir, is bringing you the results. Why don't you bring me the results in person, and I bet I'll whoop your that's what I'm talking about. Be that's what I'm hey, sir, even if you beat the messenger, at the end of the day, that's still your sister. At the end of the day, I'm going to whoop your... Look, I don't care what the you're talking about. Not, he ain't my damn brother. Oh, I, 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 I'm going to find out where the you are, whatever chubicle you in. You're going to call me talking about we brother and sister. It's my wife. I understand that, that sir. But somewhere down the line, somebody made a mistake, and you guys, a brother and sister, got married. I'm not at fault for that. Well, let me tell you this. Don't you make the mistake of calling either one of these numbers again in your life. Sir, I got one yeah, more right test result I do need to right give you. Oh, you got more test results. Okay, all about all what you've been talking about, Ben. What else you got to say now that's going to be worse yeah. than this? The only other test result I have, ma'am, is that this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your girlfriend. Oh, oh. 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 I told you I ain't like her. <laughs> well, wait when I, I when told I you. Hey, I got one more thing I got to ask both of y'all. What is the baddest, and I'm talking about the baddest radio show in the land? <laughs> Steve Harvey <laughs> Morning <laughs> Show. Hello? Hello, my Who's this? Hey, um, how you doing, man? My name is Glenn, man. I work in, uh, I work in Building 2. You work for <laughs> Media, right? Yeah, what, what, what's going on? Uh, do you have a girl? You have a girlfriend? Uh, why? What's up? Do you guys, do you guys live together, or, or what? Uh, what? What is this your business? Like, what? What's 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 the deal? What's what's? Why are you asking about my girl? Well, let me ask you this here. What's 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 going on with you and at the job? Uh, I what? I, I know what's going on with you and.
to the job, all right? And I ain't going to say nothing about it. You know, that's just our little secret or whatever. But I do have something that I want you to do, though. My little girl is selling Girl Scout cookies. And I want you to buy 50 boxes of them, all right, with, via cash app, because she got to have them sold by tomorrow morning. Are you kidding me? Dude, bro, you, okay, so you on some blackmail sport. And listen, dude, who the f gave you my number? Because you going to call me, ask me to buy some f cookies. And you, you should just be a man and ask me about it. Like, don't be f calling my phone trying to give me that bull. F like, come on, man. Like, I, I ain't got no f time for this. Like, all I'm asking you to do is buy some damn cookies, man. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just, I, I, I'm just saying, I just want you to buy some cookies. I need you to buy 50 boxes of Girl Scout cookies. Can you do that no, or not? No, 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 no. You ain't going to call and try to manipulate me into buying, like, you're, you're, you're talking and you're trying to make me buy So I ain't going to do nothing for you. you disrespecting me, calling my phone, trying to act like you, like, just trying to manipulate I ain't down with that, bro. I ain't down okay, with well, that. Let me, let me ask you, so you, you don't want to buy my cookies, though. So do you want me to call your your girl and see if she'll buy my cookies? Bro, you got to stay the f*** away from my girl, man. Like, don't don't f come near her, okay? You don't call her. You don't come near her. You don't come near me. You just need to get the f*** out of here. I'm about to start 69 this figure out who you are and come right after you, man. Like, because I ain't playing, bro. I ain't okay, playing. So I'm, 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 I'll tell you what, man. I ain't going to argue with you. I ain't going to argue with you. But I, I'll get off the phone right now. I'll get off right now. And I'm going to yeah, you call your girl. I'm going to call your girl and see if you want to no. buy some cookies. No, 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 no. You ain't call nobody. You you just get, you, you get, I swear to God, I'm going to find out who you are. I'm going to find out who gave you that number. I'm going to call you up. Like, you don't, you don't call me trying to harass okay. me. Okay, hey, man, hey, hey, you know what, Adrian? Cool. We're still talking about it, all right? I'm going to get the right. phone like you. So, so, so I'll get off the phone like you want me to, Adrian. I'll do that. But let me, let me ask you this, though. Let me ask you this, though. You sure you want me to call You sure you want me to do that? Right? Isn't that, isn't that her name? Man, you a up individual. All right, look, how much are these cookies? How much you want? Hey, man, hey, man. Tommy told me you would buy the cookies. Tommy? Yeah. Tommy told me you would buy the cookies. Tommy? Tommy? Hey, man. Hey, man, check this out. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your co-worker got me to pray phone call you. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to kill him. Damn! Well, I was so sorry, uh, bro. Oh God! Woo. Listen, listen, so listen, Adrian. We have beeped, we have beeped all the names, so nobody knows the names at all. Okay? You're good, bro. You're good. All right, man. And I, mm, you got me. Oh God! I'm, a, I'm a go. I'm a taking that, man. I, I just used up all my energy. I'm done. <laughs> Oh God! Like, <laughs> hey, what you got? <laughs> I I am going to f you up, man. I can't believe you got me on this for real. <laughs> Tell me this, man. One more thing before we go, H. What's the baddest, and I mean the baddest radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show, man, which is what he's got playing every f morning. <laughs> Kill me, bro. Hello. Uh, I'm trying to reach Carmen, please. Oh, who's calling? Uh, this is the hairstylist, Lorenzo. Oh, great, great. Hey, we were waiting for you. Hold on a second, I'll get her. Hello? Hi, is this, is this Carmen? Yes. Hi, how are you? Good. Great. Listen, um, this is the hairstylist. I'm supposed to be there to do your hair for the wedding. Hey, are you lost? Uh, no. I do have a bit of, inf uh, just, there's something that has come up and I kind of need to discuss some things with you. W are you kidding me? Let me ask you something. Wait you, what, know, wait, you know I'm getting married in four hours, right? I do know. I do know. Let me ask you this. What time actually is the wedding? Is it at 5 or 6? The wedding is at 5. Okay. Um, what have you done to your hair so far? Nothing. You have the hair. I'm waiting for you to put weave in my on my head. Right. Um, oh, God, dear. No, yeah. you're on your way, right? This is a joke. No, this is not a joke. I've, got, I've come oh, up. Mama, I've, find, tell Kim to come here. I, 
I don't have a stylist today. You came highly recommended, and I've already given you a deposit. You you should be on your way. I do understand that, darling. I don't mind giving you your deposit back. I'm, I'm... No, that's no, that's not what I want. I need you here to do my hair. I have no one here to do my hair. I, I've already paid you. I understand this, dear. Calm down. Listen, this is what I want to do. Okay, I do have someone that I can send there that's going to do an outstanding job for you. Okay, but I'm not. I've, I've, I've gotten into a spat with Oliver, and I just. I, I, what? It is. It's, it's a very. Who the hell is Oliver? Oliver is my friend, and we've gotten. Are into you a, kidding me? Well, it's been a serious, serious, serious blow up. This is the most important day of my life, and you're not coming to do my hair. You're not taking care of your business because you've gotten into a fight with your boyfriend. Listen, I'm not going to go back and forth with you about this. I've been oh arguing with him. God. I have argued with him all night. I'm not going to go back and forth and argue with you as well. You don't have to argue with me. What I need is for you to be here. I understand that, and I'm going to send someone there. In you my... are the most unprofessional stylist I have ever met in my life. I cannot even believe you're doing this. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to deal with you on a professional level. Oh, but okay. you're not, because you're not here. I understand that, and I understand, I'm not trying to, 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 to rain on your parade at your all. Your professionalism went out the window when you called to say that you couldn't make it because you were in an argument with your boyfriend. What I'm not going to do is go back and forth with Mama, you. Mama, somebody find Kim. Find, um, tell her to come. Where is everybody? Mama, please get Kim to the phone. Oh, Lord. Listen, what have you done to your hair so far? Nothing. Okay, has it been washed? Yes. Okay, so it's just waiting. Is that what's going on? Yes, that's what's going on. Have you been, done, have you been under the dryer at all? No. Okay, so is it still damp? Why are you asking me questions? You are wasting I'm time. I'm trying to get some. When I bring, when I send someone in, I want to send them in there. Yes, that, I'm sitting here with wet hair. Has your ha has your makeup been done yet? No, I'm waiting for you to do my hair. <sighs> I cannot believe this. Why are you asking me these questions? <laughs> hold on, oh, please hold on one second, Oliver. I'm not gonna go. I'm Oliver. I'm not. Oh my God. I'm not gonna sit this and discuss is, this with you. This is crazy. You. I'm not going this to discuss ridiculous. it with you now. Let me take care of the client. I'm not going. Hello. Are you kidding me? Listen, is there any way you could possibly push the wedding back to seven? You are crazy. You want me to change my time because you're in an argument with your boyfriend? Listen, this, this is the first you, time. This is, you are the most unprofessional stylist I've ever met in my life. And trust me, darling, I will put the word out about you. No, 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 hold, hold, you, hold on. I will make sure that you never, ever do business again. Wait a minute now. What you're not going to do is oh, put no, the word you out. don't curse at me. You're not going to, you're not going to put the word out. You're warning my day. I understand that. You have I, no reason to be mad. I'm the one that should be upset. It's my day. You're not going to talk to me like this either. I can talk to you any kind of way I want to. You call ruining my day. So you, hold on a second. See, so you got this talking crazy to me, Oliver, and I'm not going to go with it. And I'm not, what I'm not going to do is sit and let some talk to me crazy. Oh, Hello? no, you didn't call me a I'm not going to sit here and let you talk to me. Oh, you know what? I wish you were coming to this church. I got your Listen, I'm not going to sit here and go back and forth with you. Now, I've got someone I can send in there to get your hair done. Do you want it or do you not? Who are you sending? I am sending, I, listen, I will be sending my assistant. And she does, she washes hair. But she, she's been instructed what to do. Don't worry, she'll get it together. Do you want me to let a shampoo girl style my hair for my wedding? Look, do you want... Are you kidding me? Oliver, please! No, you need to be uh, talking to me, not Oliver. I understand. Listen, d let me take the racial voice at Oliver Don't right raise now. your voice at me. I can do whatever the hell I want to. Look, this is my, you have ruined my wedding day. No, I have not. I'm trying to get your wedding day together. Now I'm going to send this young shampoo girl to do my hair. Cynthia is very good. She will be there at 5 o'clock. We will have you ready. My wedding starts at 5 o'clock. I, I don't know what to say. What you need to be saying is you're on your way. I'm going to, Cynthia would be on I don't want Cynthia to do my hair. I didn't pay Cynthia to do my hair. I paid you to do my and hair. I'm and if you to... have to bring Oliver with you, you need to come on. Oliver, do you want to go? Oh, oh my God. Do you want to just go with me? <laughs> okay, listen, I have one more thing I need to say. You don't have to say to me. The only thing you need to be saying to me is that you and Oliver are on your way. You are about to ruin the most important day of my life. I am not about are to Are you on your way, yes or I'm, no? Are you on your way, yes or no? Yes. And I have one more thing I need to say before. What do you want to say? Uh, do, uh, do, listen, don't, don't, don't come for me. Boy, you better spit it out. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by all your bridesmaids.
<laughs> oh my God! <laughs> I am going to kick their. I don't believe they did this. To me. That's why I can't find those heifers. <laughs> oh, and I'm kicking your too, Tari. Did they get you, baby? <laughs> Did they get you? This was not funny. Not today. This was the last thing I needed today. You know what? They wanted oh. me to. They wanted me to get you yesterday. I oh. said, I said, no. We wait until the wedding day. You I have me? been under so much pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I got. I got one more thing. I got to ask you, baby. Yes. What is? What is the baddest? I'm talking about the baddest radio show in the land. The Steve Harvey <laughs> Morning Show. Hello. Hello. I'm trying to reach uh, Jay. Uh, Karee? Jack. Jack. Is that it? Jack. Yes. How you doing? I'm fine. How are you? Good, good, good. Listen, my name is Iceman with Iceman Productions. Uh, mm-hmm. I got my own record label. I, I, I've stumbled upon a CD here. I'm, a, I'm assuming this is your demo. Do you, you have a demo that's out right now? Yes, I do. All right, with a, with a couple songs on it, right? Yeah. Okay. Hey, listen, I am um, actually putting together a female group. One of my employees gave me your stuff, and I, I've been listening to it. I like the tune. I like the vibe. And uh, wanted to see if, if that's something of interest to you, if you'd like to maybe be in a, uh, in a female group. What kind of female group? Four females in one group. How do you feel about that? Uh, I think that could be workable. Okay, okay. Um, hold on one sec. Okay. Who is that? That's Diddy? Tell Diddy I'll call him back. Tell him I'm working on this group I talked to him about. Okay, sorry about that. Hello? Okay. You, uh, you listen to me? Yes, I am. Okay, good deal. So listen, if you don't mind, could you, uh, and I know I'm catching you off guard like this here, you know, uh, Iceman, really, I really don't normally get on the phone and call people, mm-hmm. but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm heavy about this group and, and getting it out. I got Puff Daddy on my butt about it, and, uh, you know, he's one of the producers on this thing, and I'm trying to really bring this thing to a head. So why don't you do me a favor if you can, if you don't mind. Now, take the right? Yes. Could you could you possibly maybe uh, uh, sing something for me real quick so I can just, you know, I just want to hear straight from the straight from your, your mouth to my ear, if you don't mind. Just anything? Okay. There's a hero. If you look inside your heart, you don't have to be afraid. Yeah. Of what you are. There's an answer. If you reach into your soul. Take that, take that. And the sorrows that you know will melt away. Take this, take this. Okay, 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 okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on one second. Who is that? Tank? Tell Tank I got his solo. Tell him I'm going to listen to it. Tell him I'm working on a female group right now. Tell him i get back at it. I'm sorry, darling. Hello? Uh, uh, I, I, I apologize for all the interruptions. Okay. That was good. That was good. Can you give me, maybe give me a little something else real quick. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think. Take of... Real quick. How old are you, darling? I'm 29. 29. Okay. Okay. Good deal. And uh, what? What? If you don't mind, what size are you? I, I, I don't have a uh, a picture on the uh, on the demo. Uh, about size three. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That'll work. That'll work. Okay. Uh, give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. If you can, uh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, do something else for me. Okay. Uh. You got. You got anything like maybe you can Mary J. Blige it up for me a little bit. You know. Uh. Let's see. What about Keisha Cole? Keisha Cole. I'm good with that. Let's do that. Let me hear that. You can wait your whole life trying to change what the feeling from what it's been. You may have got your heart broken a few times in the past. It never lasts as strong as it used to. Don't feel as good as it used to before. And everything you used to say, thing you used to do, went right out the door. Ooh, and more you'll be the one. That's what you tell everyone around you. And you know they've heard it all before. What more can you say? Yeah, yeah, Iceman like that. Iceman like that. Iceman likes that. All right. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Okay, listen, um, how do you feel about uh, flying up to uh, to New York, maybe in a couple of weeks, so I can put all you guys together? Oh, that's cool. You like that? Yeah. All right, all right. You excited about it? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Listen, uh, uh, let me let you know this. The name of the group is the Lingerie's. The Lingerie's. And, um, I, I think you guys are going to work out well once we get you locked down. And that'll be four. So we have four girls that make up the lingeries, you know? Okay. They're real pretty girls? Oh, oh, oh you got, I mean, you know, they, they're great. I need you to send me uh, some pictures as well. Okay. Can you do that? I got a headshot. Yeah, I got a headshot. Okay. Well, listen, I, I am going to need a headshot. But like I say, the name of the group is the lingeries. Okay. 
So is there a way you can send me something of you in some lingerie? What? Is, is, is there a way you, you can send me, you know... Wait, 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 wait. You want me to send you a picture of me in my lingerie? Exactly. Because, see, this is what... Uh, when you guys actually perform, you're actually going to be going out on stage in your lingerie. Hold on. Wait. What you talking about? I'm trying Come to down. get you to send me a picture in your lingerie so you can be a part of this I group. You got the you voice for it. in no damn lingerie. You know what? How the hell are you going to call me telling me to sing and in my lingerie and get on stage? That's what we're doing, baby. That's what the lingeries do. No. Hell no. What kind of you? You a crazy Who you? Where you get my number and name from? Where you get my CD from? I told you one of my people that worked for me gave me your demo. I checked it oh. out. I like I like, I like what you was doing, and hey, I'm giving you a shot. You, you Let me tell you something. You'll you never be a, a star. You'll never be a star if you're going to have all these obstacles in your way. You. Excuse me? You. Who you think you're talking to? I'm talking to your You need to send me a picture in your lingerie is what you need you to crazy do. You don't be calling me with this You send me a picture in your lingerie. I ain't sending you I want a picture of you in your drawers. You ain't getting I got a problem with that. You don't, okay. you don't want to be a star. You don't know what it takes to be a star. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, because I do. If you and did, you know what? You... I'm going to be a star. How you going to do it if you ain't part of the lingerie? Because I'm not a pornographic star, you idiot. I got one more thing I need to say to you, though. What? Is you listening? What do you want? This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just you got are... pranked by your Mine. boyfriend. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm so mad. Oh, I can't wait till he get home. He ain't getting <laughs> no lingerie. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I have never been punked in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I try to watch my language, but you know, <laughs> you made me mad. <laughs> I bet you he won't see me in no lingerie for about four or five months. <laughs> Since he got game. Hey, I got one more thing to ask you, baby. Tell me this. What is what is the baddest radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs>